YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy, Project 86, man. As you, if you're familiar with my channel, you already know who I am now. But hey, welcome to new people. Go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and comment below if you feel like it. You know, I really appreciate that, man. If y'all go ahead and take y'all time and do that for me, you know. But uh, I want to get up on here and let y'all know over the weekend, yes, somebody crashed into my 2024 Hyundai Sonata, man. Bro, when I tell you this here, man, I miss that car so much right now. I can share it to you, man. But thank God I still got the 2024 Camaro LT1 V8 pushing out 455 horsepower. About to go back in the shop because it knew the new engine, you know. But uh, let's back to back to my story, what I was talking to y'all about, man. Over the weekend, I was having a great time Saturday night down in Midtown. Now, I'm in Houston, Texas. Now, everybody, I don't know if you're familiar about Midtown, but Midtown be jumping. I'm talking about big, highly jumping out there, right? So, I go down there, have me a great time or whatever. And, you know, we I ended the night with the ladies, man. I was down there with some ladies and stuff like that. I had a great time, and I ended the night with the ladies. So I had drove off with me in the car by myself. You know, I ain't had no lady with me that night or whatever because I was trying to head to where the guys was playing some cards. We you know uh, for like a, it was like a game night. They invited me to to go play cards that night. I was trying to go win me some money real quick. You know, they, you know, have me a little card game winning. Uh, you know, try to win me some cash that night. So I'm headed to my destination, and so this guy I'm on like the highway and i guess this guy decided that I, I guess he felt like he was the only person on the highway man so this man runs right into me he, i was in the right hand lane he was in the left hand lane he was trying to get over to the right hand lane for what reason i don't even know but the corner of his vehicle the right hand side of the corner of his vehicle right in the front of his vehicle hits my door it hits the driver door and it's crazy because it's like usually when you make those mistakes it's like you will maybe run into the back of the car or maybe you'll run into the front of the car he hits my driver door like he knew what he was doing now to remind y'all this guy was fully intoxicated like i i don't understand why he was behind a steering wheel that night anyway i don't understand why he was a driver why he didn't just take a uber home or something like that whatever this guy was fully intoxicated. So we pull over to find out the damages and everything like that. And I get his insurance information and stuff like that. And the guy was pretty cool, man. He asked me, was I okay? I really appreciate that. But what I didn't appreciate is that you ran to my car and you was fully intoxicated. Now, let me let y'all know what, what, what's the crazy part, how God was there for me, man, the whole entire time. First of all, I made it out safe. I'm in a little pain, you know, like I'm going through therapy and stuff like that. My shoulders and stuff like that hurt. Back of my neck hurt and stuff like that, whatever. Uh, I'm going to get to that too. So the crazy part is, is like how God blessed me is that second of all, the cops was, it was three cops that rolled by and I have that on video. It was three cops that rolled by with all their windows down, right? The first cop, he rolled by me real slow, and I tried to wave him down. I know he heard me a little bit, but maybe he didn't hear what I was saying. You know, like, maybe he was thinking that some other officers was, on, you know, coming to our site, whatever. He didn't know how long we was out there. The second officer passed by. He did the same thing as the first officer did. The third officer stopped and asked me why is I'm waving him down. And she said that she was already on the way to go take care of some business. So I was like, hey, I really respect that. But at the same time, I just got hit by this guy that's intoxicated. So she was like, oh, he intoxicated. She was like, oh, that's, I'm going to come over here then to y'all real quick. Because I got to make sure we don't get this guy back on the road. Now, I had to, you know, like I said, well, damn, I backed off. I was like, all right, well, let's, let's get to it then. Let's go ahead and figure this out. Y'all need to go ahead and, and, and see what's going on with this guy. Because at the end of the day, I'm hurting now. 
and my car is hurting. You know what I'm saying? Like, this guy didn't completely stop my whole entire night, man. I'm talking about he stopped my whole night right then and there, man. So they get out and they, they ask what happened and he said he was his fault. You know, I really appreciate that. We ain't had to go back and forth about him lying or something like that, whatever. He said it was his fault. And the cops said, asked me, they was like, man, was I all right? And I was like, nah, man, like my back and my shoulders hurting, whatever. So they called the paramedics to come get me. So, man, they strapped me down, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like, damn, you feel me? Like, they strapped me like, boy, the paramedic people was not playing, man. They strapped me down quick and they real talk like, 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 like I had killed somebody or something, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, they were some real guy, cool guys at the end of the day. You know, I think that what it was that they were some strong ass fucking paramedic people, man. Like, them boys be in the gym for real. So, uh, Let's jump back to what, what they had going on with him. So they made him do the little walk test and they made him do the little the little the little thing with the pen and shit. You know what I'm saying? He had to look at that shit and whatever. And you know, he failed, man. He failed, man. So the last thing what I saw was they were putting him in handcuffs. So the paramedics closed the door, and that's all I saw after that. You know, and they shot me out to the hospital. Like I said, man, I had to end my night that night, man. Got my car towed. I go look at the car the next day, man. The car is completely messed up, man. Man, this car is messed up, bro. I don't even want that car no more. I don't even want that car no more. You know, they asking me, hey, man, this car could be repaired and stuff like that. Whatever. Man, it's a 2024. You think I want a wrecked 2024 that's going to have some history on, like, the car is all wrecked up and beat up and stuff like that? I don't want that car no more. So my thing was, man, I just thank God that I made it out safe to get up on here and, and let y'all know my story and stuff like that. I'm going to drop some clips down, and there's going to be some short clips of me dealing with this intoxicated driver, man, and show y'all how God plan. like at the end of the day, how God works so well with me, man. It's amazing, bro, how, how he has my back all the time. And that I made it out there safe. Because it could have been worse than that, man. And let me tell you. That 2024 Hyundai Sonata. The sensors that's in there is crazy, bro. They, they, I'm talking about that car kept me safe. Because when he hit me. And I swerved over to the right a little bit. I lost control of, of, of the wheel. And the car shook. And the car sh like went straight by itself. And that's why I kind of liked it. My kids be riding around in the Hyundai instead of in the Camaro because that damn Camaro, I already know that Camaro that lost control and it don't got no type of sensors like that to keep the car straight, whatever, you know, after if a, another vehicle hits it, it's going to go left or it's going to go right. And, and if I would just have to grab the, the wheel to, to fix the car myself or whatever, to get it back right on the road, whatever. And another thing is that I love the Hyundai because my kids wasn't riding in, in, in the coupe. They was like, they was riding in a sedan with all four doors. So in case they would need to have a emergency escape, they could just open the door and, and get out. But in the Camaro, it's more dangerous. So that's why I was loving the Hyundai. But I got, I got some people, they come comment on my channel and they, they telling me something about they don't like the Hyundai and whatever. They never thought a Hyundai was a great car. My thing is, you can't judge a car before you actually drive the car. Now, this is a 2024. So what Hyundai is you driving? Because you need to go experience some new cars that they are pushing out. And maybe you driving some old car and whatever, but go do a review. Let us know what your channel is. Go do a review on these new cars. And then you, you tell us how you like the vehicle, whatever. But you can't judge a book by its cover at all. Like, I didn't even like Hyundai's until I went, until the man came and showed me this car. And when I, I, I ain't gonna lie, I fell in love with the scream and then I fell in love with the driving experience. Bro, that car was amazing, bro. Like, and it's, it, it does way better on gas than that Camaro. Way better than uh, on, on gas than that Camaro. Man, that, that Camaro eats up gas like this here. That Hyundai, bro, I mean, it takes me 30 minutes to get to work, Thirty, maybe 40 minutes to get back. Because in the morning, there's no traffic. But then if I come back, if I get off like around 4 or 5 or whatever, it's traffic that I got to versus. Now, in the morning, I leave like around 4 in the morning, so there's no traffic. But the thing is, like, when I was coming home, it was a lot of traffic. Now, I would put maybe $15 to $10 inside this car. 
I wouldn't fill it up and this car would get me to my destination and get me back home and still haven't burnt a lot of gas. So bro, I was saving so much money driving that car. And when I have to go back to driving that Camaro, I'm gonna be disappointed because I'm spending so much money on the gas, man. But at the end of the day, I'm loving the V8. And you know, I love my Camaro and stuff like that. I'm gonna keep that on the channel, of course. Like that's, that's who I am. Like I love posting my Camaro all the time. And other guys do too, you know, like they love posting a sport car. So I'm, I love posting my sport car because the Hyundai, ain't nobody really want to look at that. But I was enjoying it for myself. But back to what I was saying, man, I just thank God that I'm safe. And your boy is back outside under the sun, feeling great. I, yeah, I am, I'm missing a couple of days of work right now, man, due to the accident. But uh, y'all stay tuned, man. Like I said, I'm going to drop some extra uh, clips in and show y'all what happened that night. And I can't show too much information of his information because then maybe he can probably sue me or whatever. But I don't want to put him all on camera and stuff like that. I'm not going to show who he is because I'm a respectful person. You know, I'm a, I'm, I'm not no person like that. I'm trying to put a, put him on blast or whatever. But you'll see like his body parts and you'll see his vehicle and stuff like that, whatever. I'm going to try to take take off his license plates or whatever too. But it was a big Toyota, man. Uh, it was a big Toyota. I don't know the name of Toyota because I never owned a Toyota. But um, the crazy part is, man, like I said, he ended my night that night, man. He ended my night, and I could not go to my, des my, my destination where I was trying to go, man. Just like I said, man, it's your boy, Project 86. Every time that I come on my video, I am pronouncing who I am, baby. You feel me? And I appreciate y'all tuning in to my channel, man. And stay tuned, man. I got a lot of action still coming soon, man. I'm going to keep on posting. Keep on posting. Y'all go ahead and subscribe to your boy, man. Hey, look, it's your boy, Project 86, and I am out. Hit that like button. Hit that comment button. Go ahead and join my channel, man. Look, hey, it's only free. It's free to join my channel, baby. You feel me? So, man, I really appreciate y'all coming along and listening to my story, man. And uh, like I said, I'm going to drop these clips in and let y'all sh show y'all, man, how deep them cops was out there, man, to save my life, baby. I'm out. Take the first exit. No, I, then, hey, we we go right here. I just need your your uh, insurance information. Well, let, let, let's get out of the yeah. get on the lane though. Okay. Damn, bro. Yeah. You got your driver's license? Oh, I have my driver's license. Sorry, this this person just ran into me. Okay, so y'all go and follow those people out there. Okay, we'll take care of it there. You but yeah. It's okay, but it, it, it's it's drivable, but but she just uh intoxicated. So I just want to I I, I that's why yeah, I, I, I don't want know to why you're saying I'm intoxicated. No, you is, you is, bro. Okay. Because anyway. you ran right into me.